Well, I just got through with the Dollar Tree haul, and it got a little long, and I had a few things to talk about, and I thought, well... I'll do a snippet here and a snippet there. That's why I work anyway every day. That's why you don't see a lot of what I do or say. But I want to give my opinion on it. One of the things that come out at the holidays, like Christmas, is the apple cider, the instant drink. There's four pouches, 80 calories. I'm usually the only one that drinks it. And I had quite a few of these boxes, and I thought, well, what am I going to do with this apple cider? I've been using it in Kenny's oatmeal. Yeah. He's been having apple cider oatmeal. He's been having apple cider with uh, raisins. And if I had apples or wanted to open a can of my apples in a can, he could have that with it. You could put it in cakes. You can put it... I can't even imagine what all you could put it in, but I found that I've been using it on a regular basis. Not the whole packet one time for a serving. You have to do it to taste. I can't tell you how much to use in your oatmeal. And if you're making a big pot of it, since it seasons, what, a cup? I'm believing you use a cup. Yeah. I do, I do at least eight ounces. I don't do one of these when I do it. But anyway, so if you have some of this left, consider using it probably even in cream of wheat. I've not tried it in cream of wheat. I think it's really good in oatmeal. So I thought I'd show you that. That's a tip. Since we're trying to cut down on the junk food and stuff, guess what? Eli's gravitating back to all the fruit I've been buying. He is. And he loves his mango, diced mango. I still have several in the pantry for him. And there's just three in a pack. So as soon as he's down a little bit more and I see where his other fruits are, because I got him some at Yugo too, uh, not these, but then I will add to the stock. Does that even make sense? Never talk trash bags on here except what I buy. And I'm I'm going to say, yes, these were from the Walmart. Eight in, um, Walmart, the Dollar Tree. Eight in them. Tall kitchen bags. 13 gallon. I like drawstring. I was looking to see. I'm sure it's a name brand. Distributed by B. Satorio out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. But um, the weekend that Eli and I went to Michelle's, and Michelle and I did do a you go trip, and Eli and I did do a uh, Dollar Tree trip, we dropped off some food at the Blessings Box next to his old element, ex elementary school, because he doesn't go there anymore. They have a Blessing Box. And People don't take care of it, but people do get the food. And so I put food in like grocery bag. I kind of grouped it together. And then I put that down in one of these bags. So in case it rained or something, they wouldn't get wet. So they were double bagged, easy for somebody to see and take. And Eli was gracious enough to help uh, put it out. Plus, we left the bag at the dump because we had went to the dump first and noticed that somebody had put some food at the end of the conveyor belt in the basket. And I said, Eli, let's share here too because I know that area and I know a lot of people could use it. So we left some food at the dump. But I know the gentleman there will, he'll take care of it. These right here work good 
on scratching your back. But sometimes too good. Make sure you pay attention to the ends. Because I got a hold of one one time and it was rough. And uh, scratched my back all up because I was itching and I was scratching real fast. And then I got, ooh. <laughs> but they make nice gifts. Just know that if you get one that's rough, uses you some sandpaper like this one right here. I had bought it to put in a gift basket. I feel a roughness right there. Hopefully not on my back. Uh, hopefully I didn't do enough. But, uh, so I would take a file or a little piece of sandpaper and uh, sand it down. Because it makes a nice gift. Especially people with arthritis has trouble moving their arms and stuff. But sometimes you can find these at the checkout. These are one of my number one favorites because when we go on trips and stuff, if I can remember, I take one like this or if I take a bigger bag with me because it's extendable. Look how far out it extends. Seriously, it's, I didn't realize that. It's a little longer than that one. But when you use this, there's no rough edges. And to me, I just <laughs> put myself to sleep like the way it works. And I like the fact that it's convenient as far as all you do. I gave only one too, so I don't know if she uses hers or not. I said in my Dollar Tree haul, I used me a little peach fuzz, but it was really peach fizz from LA Colors. I love this palette because I love using the oranges and stuff on my eyelids. I think I used a little bit of the yellow as a uh, all over today. Then I used that one. Then I went over to the LA Colors nude and used one of the browns on the outside. I used that brown. I'm trying to use what I have and decide what I want to keep, what I might want to donate. Connie, if, if you're watching, my sister, if she's watching, I hope this one wasn't hers because she and I both had one. I want to try something a little different, see if I could get the dark circles or whatever out from under my eyes. Didn't look to even see what purple stands for. But it's Wet n' Wild Color Corrector Mega Cushion. These things on Amazon a few months back when I checked on them went for like $8 and something. Yeah, $8 and something. So, uh... I showed these in a haul when it went to Oak Ridge and I, Mama was with me. And I found two because some of them looked like they had been uh, messed with. You know what I'm saying? The purple was all over them. They just looked yucky. But it's got a little sponge. Then a little lid that keeps the sponge from... I'm trying to get it off. Sitting on top of that sponge. Then you put them together... And I patted it all under my eyes. I'm trying to take care of it. Because what if it's Connie's? She's my sister. I gave her one of these back during the summer when she, she was here and she loved it. So I'm hoping Omi took hers home. If not, I had a clean face. <laughs> I wound up using this lipstick today. Burt B's. It's called a Satin Lipstick Rouge Juniper Water. A little bit deeper lipstick. Kind of has like a kind of a burgundy type color to it. But I needed something to show I have lips. I need a lip lip lift. I know they got the the pouty lip stuff that's supposed to help plump your lips up. We've got the sugar scrub to go on your lips, but yeah, I need to feel that. I changed out my 
mascara today and decided to use this one again because I'm using, I kind of rotate to practice with it and that way if I've used it enough, I can tell you about it. Don't want to tell you about it if I've not used it enough. But this is the Bow Lash. And I like it. I have really thin lashes, really short. I do go over my eyes several times when I use it. Because like I said, I have uh, very fine, short eyebrow, eyelashes. And it's by LA Colors. So that's what I wanted up using today. The other day, I didn't do this on video and I still need to do the other mask. I did a foot mask just while I sit and watching TV. It was a deep pure. It's a lavender, soothing lavender. It fit well on both feet. It felt good. But my feet, to be honest, are so rough. I should have used the other one first that takes all the scaly stuff off. It's uplifting, nourishing, and softening. So I can't... I'll, I'll just be honest. I can't give you a fair review because I got farmer's feet. I get up there with my sandals and I'm outside and I'm not barefooted. I can be out with socks on sometimes, but I don't go barefooted like I used to. But just being outside in the cold weather with sandals and socks or uh, being outside and it hot, it seemed like they were a little softer. But I'm anxious to try the other one. And when I try the other one, I'll let you know. The very first time I used this shampoo, yeah, don't judge me today. It's been two or three days. I don't wash my hair every day. I got, I, I use my color. I should bring my color in here to show you. Since I'm doing this, I didn't realize it's going to be a whole video when it's on. on it. I made it back. I went down a rabbit hole. My TV was on, and Tara from Living on a Dime was showing what to do with two-ingredient dough. I sat and watched the whole thing. I may have to show you some, because I was thinking, I wonder if you can, I would think you can make this with it, and she did. And she made several things. <laughs> Y'all have to go watch it. Uh, today is um, the 11th, March 11th. Tar on super easy recipes. But Angie may bring you her version of those at some point. I'm trying. But anyway, I went to get my color because the day I did it, it's been a while back. This is the color I use, Color Easy. I find that, uh, and it's time again, that this right here does just as well on my hair for a dollar and a quarter versus uh, a lot of them that are upwards to eight to 12 to 13 dollars. Sometimes I'll buy them if they're on sale, but not very often. So this is the color. Doesn't make my hair fall out. Doesn't break it off. I like it. It doesn't have conditioner in it, but the day I washed my hair, I tried a new one that I hadn't tried before, which was the Pro Silk Salon. And it was the purple shampoo to help get out the brassy tones and blonde and gray hair. I used it. And I used the conditioner that's infused with coconut oil and shea butter. This one infused with coconut oil and shea butter, both of them are. And I use this. I don't use conditioner around my scalp or up through here because if I do, I can't do anything with my hair. But anything back here, it all gets conditioned up while I'm showering. But this, what I was going to tell you is I went into the uh, <coughs> Dollar Tree that day. And the first thing, I, it was cashier said, uh, she loved my hair. And I'm thinking, I don't think anybody's ever said that to me. I can't even say that to me. And she said she loved the color and she loved the shine. I don't know if she even said anything about it being put up. She just said everything. 
went, yeah, she did. Everything went good that day. Must have been my perfect hair day. But I used the three products I showed you for the first time together. I've used this forever. And uh, I just felt good. So I thought I'd share that with you. You might want to try these. These were the ones I was using before I bought that. This is real, to me, real watery, doesn't... I'm not saying that the other one is a real thick, but it's thicker. But the shampoo on this one that's uh, repairing shampoo, Honey Lavender, I thought because it was purple, it was for brassiness for one thing. I couldn't tell really a difference. And for another thing, it's real watery. To me, you use more of it. For me, I don't know if y'all tried it or not. Y'all can post your opinion below because some people may like it. Just because I don't like a product or don't care for it, I'll use it. Care for it as much doesn't mean somebody else won't love it. Now the conditioner on the other hand, I don't have an issue with. Like I said, I just use a very little. And uh, it's Softy Honey Lavender Repair and Conditioner. Did not say, you know, like for get the brassiness out and all that. But I thought it being purple, it might. I'm commenting more on the, uh, and maybe my bottle's just different than anybody else's. I don't know. But. Almost on a daily basis, I use some kind of uh, perfume from the Dollar Tree. I can't remember the last time I've really bought perfume anywhere else. A lot of times I try at uh, Walmart around Christmas time when they have gift sets and they mark them down. <coughs> I would buy the gift sets. But today I use the luxury number 14. My friend, many, many moons ago, Sherry, got me started on the perfume at the Dollar Tree because we, she liked Obsession, got me started on it. She also got me started on uh, Vanilla Ice, remember Vanilla Ice? And then it seemed like they changed the formula on it. And then she had this scent, Obsession, I loved it. And then she told me the Dollar Tree had a generic to it. And uh, when you look on the boxes, like luxury, 14 will be different than 15, be different than 16, whatever the number is. Look on the box, it'll tell you what it compares to. Uh, I do believe in the past some of the perfumes lasted a little longer, but I try normally to keep these close by so I can spritz if I feel like I need it. While I was going down the rabbit hole at the TV, I was seeing my matches. I use my matches sometimes to light my candles uh, from the Dollar Tree. I also bought them for outside cooking and not done that yet, but I plan on it. So, if you can get them, this is a 252 count, a uh, 250 count. I like the long ones because I can just uh, maneuver them better. I have not used this particular color before, but I will tell you that it's sister color that's, that you have seen me use. I love it. I, it lasted a long time. I should show you what it is before I do it. It's called Fast Gel by Maybelline. Love this stuff. I bought it in two more colors, and I've showed them in other hauls. But the one that I was using before I took it off, it lasted a good long time. I'm just going to go over this one thumb that I threw some, I was going to say paint on the other day, polish. Oh, yeah, I like that. It's a... Uh, it's red, but it has an undertone. It's not a really, really, I love it. I'm not, used a lot of red on my 
fingernails. I mainly got these for my toes because my fingernails are all broke off. But I'm just gonna let that dry. And I may leave it on. You may see it in a few hauls. I don't know, I may take it off. It's more noticeable than the neutral. But that's a few of my reviews of what I get at the Dollar Tree. Can you say utter chaos? But if I did it this way, at least I can share some of the stuff that I think about during the day. If I kind of put it all together like I did these items when I'm thinking about it, then I'll be more apt to share them. And sometimes they might be a repeat. I'll try not to do that. I'll try not to do too many repeats on anything that I might review. I re had a snack review and I hope that helped people. Maybe I'll have a food review at some point because I don't keep all the empty containers and stuff. I've got enough stuff laying around. I did good to have all the snack containers. So as I use them, I may just take a picture and then we'll talk about it. I don't know how I'll do it yet because uh, like I said, I'm trying to be more purposeful on what I buy and I also want to be purposeful on uh, what I use when, and you'll understand that more in another video too, I hope. So I hope you enjoyed this little review video. Other than not totally happy with the softy shampoo, and it could be too, we have hard water. And maybe it would have worked a little bit different if we didn't have hard water. But of the two shampoos, this wins hands down for me because of my color. And hopefully if I do my color and do this, this, maybe I'll let you know that day and that way you can judge. I can get good light. We had sun earlier, now it's cloudy. I hope you enjoyed the review video. I hope you find something that might be useful for you. I do like this color, so at some point, I will have this color on. It's a different color than I have when I have it put on my toes, which is more of a cherry red. And uh, yeah. And until next time, I'm gonna get out of here, check on the critters. Uh, time springs forward tonight. I don't know when you'll see this. I will be in the future. <laughs> I'll be your future, my past. And uh, I've got more to share. I hope you stay tuned.